What's up guys, welcome back to My Insane Life. So we're doing something a little bit different today. We're not talking about movies in this video. I mentioned in my last video that you need to keep an eye out for a video coming very soon that is gonna involve those action figures that were in the background and this is that video. We got a little project going on today. I'm gonna be trying to make a custom display base for this guy right here. This is the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Superman from Action Comics 1000. And I've never actually made a base before. I've done repaints and modifications for action figures like the Batman right here from Justice League, the Batman back here from Batman v Superman, and also the big 32 inch Superman that you see on the other side of my desk when I shoot at the desk. Let's go ahead and crack this guy open. So he comes with this cool little clear base that you can use to clip him on the hip and make it look like he's flying. And he comes with this sweet little trading card. And he's got his stats on the back just in case you want to learn that Superman is six foot three, 235 pounds of muscle boy Arr! and here is superman in all of his cape flapping flying glory so i really like this guy that's why i don't want to do any modifications to the paint job or anything like that i just want to make a display base for him so what's the display base can be made out of i'm glad you asked so i have a big wooden box right here that was actually made for bottles of chardonnay and craziest thing happened one of the sides broke off so what happened was it dawned on me that i can use this as kind of the base to my base that I'm gonna make for the Superman. So what I'm hoping to do is have a really cool display of Superman flying above the clouds with the sun in the sky in the background and maybe a cool motivational quote from Jor-El to go above it. I'm gonna cut a piece of this wood off to make the actual stand that he's gonna be on top of and the rest of it is gonna be the background. A Little bit of spray paint, a little bit of pictures, a little bit of TLC and this thing is gonna look sweet, I hope. So I am not gonna stall any longer. Let's get to making a display for Superman. Holy cow, Zane is doing commentary. I never thought I would see the day, but here we are. So I have my ruler right there. I'm just trying to make sure that I am getting an accurate line as to where I'm gonna be making the cut in the wood, just to make sure I don't have to, you know, break off another piece of wood off of that box and do it again. Making my straight line here. Now, fun fact, when I actually did the cut, I forgot to hit record on the camera, so I had to improvise. So here's me using my impressive strength to actually break the wood in a perfectly symmetrical cut. Check it out. It's out of the way. Oh, there we go. Yep, killed it. So I'm taking this Rust-Oleum uh, paint and primer and I'm gonna actually paint the wood white. I, I feel like if the wood was painted white, it was gonna give a nice bright aesthetic to the entire piece as opposed to keeping the wood color natural. I like how that was turning out. And then I just got the, the other piece, the larger piece, and did the same thing and after I was finished painting what I did was I wanted to give it some time to dry so while it was drying I was printing out my pictures that I was going to be using there's my sky photo right there and this is going to be my really cool quote from Jor-El that I was going to put on it I think I should show myself printing it in a second there we go it came out too big so I had to print out the original again and then here we're just going to be cutting it with some nice scissors trying to make a nice even cut and all right here, I'm just kind of sizing it up, making sure it's going to fit right. And that's exactly how I think I'm going to go with it. I'm making that little crease so that I can know that it's going to, you know, fill the board properly. Yeah, buddy. And then that is just nailing the boards together. Uh, no fingers were broken. That is a definite plus. So we got that pretty good. Now we're just taping the pictures to the wood in the back, making sure that it was all level. I like how that was coming out. I just wanted to tape it instead of gluing it. I feel like it was neater. There is my game face, man. I was so focused on getting that thing taped to the board. There's a little view from the, the back of the board there. As you can see, I didn't paint the back. And that was with the quote and everything. And at the time, I thought it was okay, but I uh, thought I could do better, but I was gonna roll with it. Now we're taping down Superman. We are, we are taping down the stand here. Again, I'm just taping instead of gluing because I didn't want to glue it down and then have it be stuck to that board forever, you know? So I'm just gonna tape it down just in case I ever wanna go back and try something different for old Superman. Then I'm just taking some glue, and actually, uh, I'm, I'm putting the glue right there, and I'm gonna take some pillow stuffing. And pillow stuffing is what I'm gonna be gluing down to the board right there to make it look like Superman is coming up out of the clouds. I, I took a look at it before I started gluing, and I really liked how it looked. So I wanted to use that for the final product. Now I'm just going to kind of squeeze it down, make sure it glues, make sure it's fitted properly and it, and it looks good. I was liking it. I, I was starting to really like the project once I got to this point. It was pretty much done by then. The only thing was I didn't like the quote anymore. So I got something else in place of the quote. And I much, much prefer it. 
and it's time for the reveal. Are you guys ready? I'm excited. Let's go ahead and reveal the Superman display. All right, so here he is in all of his Superman glory. We got him set up. I don't have a designated spot for him just yet, but that is coming soon. I like how he turned out. It was really fun to post a different kind of video today. I hope you guys enjoyed me kind of broadening the horizons a little bit. A big inspiration behind me wanting to do these projects was actually Cosplay Chris on YouTube. I highly recommend you guys check him out. He was a big inspiration for me and a big reason behind me starting the channel. He's the reason that I did that custom Batman and Superman that I always keep behind me in my videos when I shoot at the desk. He's the reason that I redid that Justice League Batman. He's just a cool dude. I highly recommend you guys check out Cosplay Chris. That man is awesome. That's Superman done, so that can only mean one thing. I saved the best for a second, because next time, we gotta tackle this Batman right here. I have something very cool planned out for him. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. It was a blast today. It was a nice way to spend a Saturday. If you made it this far into the video, drop me a thumbs up. And if you like what you saw today, hit that subscribe button, because there is more awesome content on the way. I'm gonna see you guys in the next video, and until then, eat some candy, watch a really good movie, and I'm gonna keep on living my insane life.